welcome to episode one of my new Football Manager Challenge. I am the Football Novice and welcome to the Novice Academy. This is a brand new series, a brand new club. The premise behind this is this is a an adapted version of a Youth Academy Challenge. In essence, I am not allowed to sign anyone. Only players I'm allowed are players that have graduated from my youth system with a slight twist. The only slight twist is that my original squad of players are players that are greyed out at the start. I've just given them a non-contract deal, so I've got a squad to go for. The challenge is being done in the Welsh Leagues. This is a custom-built database done by the FM editors that I downloaded off the internet, which looks to be a very challenging series so what my ultimate dream is to, with this series is to ultimately win the champions league i'll just let that settle for a moment that is the ultimate aim for this series it's going to take me a long time to do it so i'm, I'm going to have to work my way up from the mid wales football league division two up um, to, all the way into the welsh premier league win that and win the champions league as an end goal the true Youth Academy Challenge, which if you search for it on the internet, is very demanding, is that's the end goal, is to win the Champions League and to win your domestic league title. So I've included those two as potential things I want to achieve. The other things I want to achieve is I want to win the Welsh League, as I've said, Welsh Cup. I want to get players to international status, so under 19, under 21 and international cap. I want to sell a player for money. And I want a five-star Youth Academy rating. In all, I've got 13 different objectives for this save. And some of them I potentially get within a season, two seasons. Some of them potentially will take me 25, 30 years. This, I'm in for the long haul, and I hope you will be as well. In terms of my squad, they are all fairly poor players. If we look at the potential ability and the actual ability, my star players are a guy called Reese Reese. His parents really didn't like him, and they are his attributes. There is nothing there that is great, but he's well suited to Mid Wales League One football, which is a level above where we are currently playing. So I've got four players at that level Stephen Watkins, young centre back, Danny Bowen as a goalkeeper, and Ben Higgins, who is my captain and a centre back. So the level of football isn't great, players are not great, which by my standards should mean hopefully I do relatively well. I've only got about seven or eight players who are ready for first team football. The rest of them from Stuart Sullivan down are all fairly good for the youth team or lower. So there's not a lot of quality here. They're all currently amateurs and they all range between 15 and 18 years. All I did at the start of the save was just highlight all the players that was showing as grey and gave them a contract. Did that for my senior squad and for my under 19 squad, just to give me a number of players to start this save. That goes against the official rules of the Youth Academy Challenge, which is why this is a adapted Youth Academy Challenge. In terms of tactic, I'm going to try and use, it is a very simple 4-4-2 formation. Sweeper keeper in goal, defensive full max, central defenders, Midfield four, two wingers on either side, central midfielder and a ball winning midfielder with two advanced forwards at the top. The reason why I've chosen those roles is because that's all my players can do. With these grade, originally greyed out players, they only really can do one or two positions. So for example, Luke Bowles can only play as a defensive fullback. He can't play as any other role. So that's a little bit of background of what we're trying to do. We're currently on the 20th of August. It is game one day today. We've had a fairly okay pre-season. Results may not look that great, but there's some context behind that. The 6-0 victory over Tree Toms, they are at the same level as us, so that's a really pleasing performance. We then lost to Cheltenham, who are League 2, 3-2. We also lost to Tiverton, who are Southern League Division 1 South and West, so again, a higher standard. And all the three games are all at a higher level than us. So we only really played one team at our level, and that was Tree Thomas, and we won that 6-0. So I am relatively comfortable 
with what we're going to try and do. I have done a couple of minor things to this save using the editor. I have changed this from amateur to a semi-professional side. Main reason for doing that is I want to keep hold of my players. I don't want them to be snatched away from me by other clubs at my level. I will actually make some money from them. That does give me a slight advantage is that I'll be able to hold on to my players but the downside is I will be actually paying them wages when I eventually start signing, when I eventually get these players coming through on professional contracts. So my finances, even though they are 1100 at the moment, as soon as I start signing those players, my finances will deteriorate very quickly. So yes, I do have an advantage having them as semi-professional, but I'm going to be paying them and I'm going to be losing money very, very quickly. So it's a double-edged sword on that one. I've also done the highly controversial step of becoming unstackable. The reason behind that is that this save is not about me as a manager. It is about the club, it's about Novice Academy, and I want to be able to concentrate on the club without having to worry about my job and then potentially re-adding a new manager every six to eight months when I lose my job. So it's all about the club, seeing how we can prove them, generate players coming through and seeing how it all goes. So the team is picked for our historic first ever game as manager of the Novice Academy. We are at home against Church Stoke today. We are favourites to win. I think we'll be favourites to win most games, even though our media prediction is 12th in the league. The board seem to think we'll do very well indeed. So the team for today, in goal, Danny Bowen. At right back is Luke Browles. Our left back is Lee Francis. Two centre-halves in captain Ben Higgins and Stefan Watkins. Right-sided midfielder is Owen Trevitt. Left-sided midfielder Christian Tolley with Robin Needs and Kevin B in the middle. Alex Tancock and Stuart Sullivan are our strikers for today. Reese Reese, Jeremy Marshall-Jones, Craig Doyle, Andrew Sampson and David Harris make up the subs bench. First ever game, let's get into it. One thing I've struggled with at the moment is the technical ability of my staff. My assistant manager and my coaches are not very good. I don't have a head of youth development at the moment, which is a little bit of a worry because I haven't been able to get anyone who's interested in the job. Lovely full stadium for Welsh Lower Leagues football, which you wouldn't actually normally get. So first attack for us and it breaks down. Ball is cleared to Thomas and we have to do a bit of defending. Well defended by Watkins and Needs brings it forward. Nice ball over the top to Tancock. Could this be our first goal? Good save from the keeper. And it's our first corner. The view we have at the moment is very much a very busy view. I don't yet know how to change it. Something I'm going to be working on. Ooh, that could have been a very nasty tackle from Tancock there. But it was okay. He won the ball. And Fowles knocks it forward. Aim for Sullivan. It takes it down well. Into the box. Loose the ball. Wins the ball back. Sullivan. Can he score from there? He does. Fantastic goal from young Stuart Sullivan. We'll always go down in history for the first goal from the Novice Academy. Long ball from B. It's in Tancock. Tancock gets to the byline, whips it in. Sullivan's there. Sullivan makes it 2 0. Superb start. In pre season, especially in the 6 0 victory, we had a lot of joy with that ball over the top. And it seems to be happening well again today. A very pleasing start to the game. Two goals from Stuart Sullivan, and we are 2 0 up. Not going to make any changes, going to keep it as it is and see how the second half develops. Oh, it's a lovely ball, lovely ball. Oh, fantastic finish. Stuart Sullivan, fantastic. He could be my Jack Young. If you don't know who Jack Young is, Search for Regen Rovers on YouTube. A fantastic series by Golden FM. Just important now that we don't concede and we keep it nice and tight. They haven't really had a sniff yet, so they're bound to score from this attack. Oh, you can just keep on shooting like that, mate. That's fine by me. Good head up. Sullivan, can you release him? Release him. Over wingers. Trevitt picks up the ball. 
Looking inside towards Tancock. Tancock with Sullivan on the side. side. Can Sullivan get a fourth? Sullivan has a fourth. As debuts go, that's not a bad debut. Four goals, and you're only 16, 17. We do highlight for them. It's 4 1. Just going to make a couple of changes, bringing on David Harris, who, according to the game, is my star hot prospect into the central midfield role. It's the ball-winning midfield role, I do apologise. And taking off Stuart Sullivan and replacing him with Andrew Sampson. And he is going to play as a defensive forward on defend, because he can't play as an advanced forward on attack. We'll see the game out now. There's about 20 minutes left. Clear the ball. Come on. Good save that was actually. I'm going to make a change. Defensively, looking a bit tired. Still going to bring Stefan Watkins off and bring Reese Reese on. Samson brings the ball under control. Back to Francis Tolly. Just nice build up play into Harris. Samson looking for runs around. Season done plays back into Harris. Nice build up play from us today. Full time. Fantastic result. 4 1 victory in our first ever game home against Church Stroke. Everyone had a very good game. A couple of midfield were only for 6.9, but 9.8 from Stuart Sullivan. Four goals on your debut. That's going to happen. There's going to have to be an individual talk there. I'm proud of your dominating performance. Very even game in terms of sh sh what the match stats. They had more shots, even on target. One clear cut chance, and we scored four goals. And every single player on our debut had a debut. Stuart Sullivan has scored his first, second, and third, and fourth goals of the season of his career. So there we go. One game down and one victory down. Church Stoke beaten 4 1 today. In front of a nice crowd of 190 people. That's a nice positive start for us. What I'm going to do in this save that I didn't do in the previous save is actually play a few more games off screen than I did last time out. I found in the Globetrotter save I would very much struggled to gain a bit of momentum because every couple of games I was stopping recording a video, editing a video, uploading a video. This one I'm going to really get a chance to get some game time in. Every seven or eight matches, you'll get a video where I'll run through what's previously happened and show a live com, and I'll go from there. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please press that like button. It would mean a huge amount to me. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And all I can say is thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching. I've been the Football Manager Novice. I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.